In understanding how to multiply powers of 10, you first need to have some background information about exponential notation. Exponential notation is writing a number with an exponent. Here's an example. 10 is our base and we are raising it to the exponent 4. The exponent tells me to multiply my 10 four times, like this. 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 is 10,000. Notice that the exponent 4 matches up with how many zeros we have in our answer. If we were starting with the number 1, it would be the same thing as moving the decimal four times to the right. You could think of positive is always right. Now a negative power of 10 is the same 10 raised to a negative exponent. This time, instead of multiplying by 10, we're multiplying by tenths. One tenth times one tenth times one tenth times one tenth. This is fractions, these are decimals. It's the same information. When you multiply it, the answer is one ten thousandth. This time, the four doesn't necessarily count just the zeros, but all of the digits behind the decimal. One, two, three, four. Again, if we were starting with the number one, it would be the same thing as moving the decimal four places, but this time to the left. All right. Now, I've made you some notes. Here are some examples, and we could go on for inf infinity. But 10 is the same thing as 10 to the first power. Exponent is 1, we have 1 zero. 100 is the same thing as 10 to the second power. Exponent is 2, two zeros. 1,000 is the same thing as 10 to the third power. Exponent is 3, three zeros. 10 to the fourth and 10 to the fifth are the same. Now, negative powers of 10 have negative exponents. Negative 1 is one number behind the decimal. Negative 2, two numbers behind the decimal. Negative 3, three numbers behind the decimal. This is 1 one thousandth and negative 4 and negative 5. Now, keep in mind that a single digit that looks like it's not a decimal does have a decimal point at the back. 4 is the same thing as 4 and 0 tenths. Now with this information we can work a couple of examples. Here I have a positive power of 10. 17 times 10 to the second power. Now you have two methods for solving this. First, I know that 10 to the second power is the same thing as 100. 17 times 100 is 1700. Now the other way to look at this is I have my decimal here. If I have a power of 2, I can move that decimal to the right two times. So if the decimal was here, 1, 2, now the decimal is here. In a negative power of 10, I know that 10 to the negative 3 is the same thing as 1 1 thousandth. Well, 5 times 1 1 thousandth is 5 thousandths. I also know that a negative 3 tells me to move this decimal three places to the left. So that's why my decimal is now here.